level completed. Good afternoon, you Pudu pipe smokers. Just leaving work. Cool today. 54 degrees, but beautiful out. So I posted a few videos this morning on uh, pipe modification. I figured I'd further expand upon it. While I'm driving. And you know, it's really a good... If you like pipes and pipe smoking, pipe modification is a good way to expand the hobby. And you can really, it doesn't take a lot. Um, and it's really not hard to make a pipe. I mean, to make a beautiful, flawless pipe, it takes a lot of experience. But to make a pipe that you can smoke, uh, it's something you created yourself. It's not that hard to do. But just modifying pipes is a lot of fun, and you can really resurrect some really classic pipes. Even if you like filtered pipes, many of them you can convert. Um, some of the naturally screwing tenon type of pipe, that takes a lot to modify. Um, which I'm going to try doing one, and then I'll, I'll see if it's, um, I'm sure it's possible you run the risk of really ruining a, a good pipe if it fails. But if you buy one, some of those pipes that don't have a stem, or the stem is shot, you have nothing to lose. I mean, sometimes you pick it up for dirt cheap. But, um, and the tools aren't really expensive for files and uh, reamers. Most every one of us has a drill. Um, And plus you get to know pipes better, because you understand the mechanics of them better. Um, many times playing around, you can take a pipe that... Sometimes you get a pipe that you struggle with, the smoke. And uh, sometimes a simple drill opening up the airway can turn it into a good smoker. And it's really not hard to do. Don't feel that you have to be some wood master craftsman to do it. Uh, you're going to ruin a few, granted, but that's why you start with some cheap pipe you don't care about. Or some pipe that's sitting in your drawer that you hate, uh, the way it smokes. Or Take it and don't be afraid to try it. You know, that's how you learn through mistakes and trial and error. Plus, there's a lot of information on YouTube, thankfully, that people share uh, of how to do things. So if you take nothing else away from these videos, uh, I hope you it sparks your interest to try. And you'd be surprised. Uh, and there's something really special about a pipe that you worked on yourself and turned it into something you enjoy. Uh, you get much more satisfaction out of smoking a pipe like that. I mean, posted the link to the reamers. Uh, $20. I was wrong. I thought $25 or $30. Get a set of reamers for $19.99 on Amazon. And you can pick yourself up some numbered drill bit set. The reason I say numbered is because they give you all the sizes in very small increments. So you can experiment and just go gradually by increasing a size hole. Now 
Actually, I don't recommend you start with uh, some rare Dunhill, but um, some of your cheaper pipes, don't be afraid. If you really want to experiment, pick yourself up some corn cobs. Make a stem yourself for them. The uh, Lucite's cheap. Uh, and you'd be surprised. There's a really good uh, channel. Um, he's in Europe someplace. Mindful Piper. I think he makes all his own pipes. He, I don't think he uses any power tools at all. I think everything's done by hand. And he makes some really nice, I, I call them working man smoking pipes. A pipe that you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, knocking around, going fishing with, in case you would have lose it in the water or something like that, or, you know, a work pipe or something. where you just don't have to be careful with it. And it's a lot of fun, and it really expands on the hobby. And once you do it, you do your first one, I, I assure you, you'll be, uh, you look on eBay, and now all of a sudden that pipe you passed up because of the damage you've see, seen on it, you'll pick it up now. And it's enjoyable, and you're resurrecting a pipe that, who knows? You know, that's the intriguing thing about pipes. Um, you take a pipe that's 50 years old, and you wonder how many problems did that pipe solve for somebody, or how much comfort did that pipe give to somebody? And it, and it really sparks your imagination into just thinking, you know, um, the process of thinking. What was somebody doing 50 years ago when they had that pipe in their mouth? Just very intriguing. I find it fascinating. Blue sky. It's not a cloud in the sky today. Unbelievable. It's almost 60 degrees. The perfect temperature for me. A little chilly in the morning, but it feels good. I had a lot of Kia blend this morning that was just uh, with a cup of coffee. It's doesn't get any simpler than that, but yet it's so enjoyable. And also, if anybody has any questions or drop me a line, ask questions, drop them in the bucket, send me an email. I'll help you any way I can. I'd offer to do a pipe for you if you want to convert one, but there'd be a disclaimer. Uh, not everything works out as planned sometimes. So, I would do my best, of course, not to ruin it, but sometimes things happen. short video to say that and uh, wish you all well. Get outside, enjoy the weather, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.